I had to take the microphone headphone part off but this is what my little view of the golf course is looking like so far now that I have all of my trees blocked into the background and I have my fence already detailed I am gonna go into this part which is the green I have to define that a little bit more and play around with all of those greens a little bit more and I'm also gonna go in and define all of these greenery here because it's still not detailed enough I don't want it to be too detailed but I don't want it to be like little blotches so I'm gonna go into that section here I still want to work on this part here because I don't like it and there's a few things here that are still like all looking like little shadows and I want to go into them and work a little bit more I am using the new set of Neo Color 2's that I got this is a let me see if I can open it. I have the ones that I'm going to be using right here but I think this is fifth no it's 30 colors so the one that I had was a smaller set and with this one I get a wider variety of greens and it's just faster to have all of them available so those are the ones that I'm playing with and since I saw how much I liked them and I was using them so much I decided to splurge and get myself that set at a bookstore where we were before so yeah I I did get some art supplies with like um, at the bookstore and um, for painting basically I didn't get any of the like stamps and, and um, stickers and all those little goodies with bargain prices but I did manage to find some nice coloring sets that I could use for multiple things so that was um, a good investment and I've en truly enjoyed it I'm glad I decided to bring this little sketchbook here because it's been simple enough to go into and work with because even my big coloring book that I have been working on it just takes longer and this is enjoyable I just take it with me with that little pouch here I take it with me everywhere we go when we have to go on like the river trips and the hiking and everything I just sit around in the little shaded area and try to color most of the times it's been really sunny and I haven't been able to like really get much done because it was too glary but then I get home and I like do a little bit here and a little bit there and it's been fun so I think what, that's what I'm going to keep on doing for the next few days I am holding my tablet with my hand so I was going to try and go in and share with you how I color this but I don't know how well that's going to work I might try a little bit and just show you I have my water color brush here which has water on it already and what I'm doing is I usually hold this with my hand I'm gonna try and go in and um, grab it straight from the little crayon that's being held here and yeah I had like two minutes because they're already coming up the stairs and the kids are on their way up to my room and I still have a lot of water on that one because I pressed too hard yeah I'm trying to do too many things with the same I'm not used to doing the filming and But I want to get this darker and I'm, I'm painting it and I'm looking through um, the tablet as I do this so it's kind of interesting fun and I did not bring a paper towel so now I'm grabbing a little bit of this darker mossy green here and I'm gonna go into this area here I have no idea who's down the stairs because where I'm staying at right now it's like a little loft attic that my parents have here in the house and um, when we stay here we all stay here like I have my bed with my husband and then my son sleeps I'm not gonna show you because he has a mess on his bed right now but he sleeps with us in this room and then right next to that there's a little door and then I have we have two beds in there where my daughters both sleep so we all stay in this little attic that has been transformed into an extra room so we have like a little um, section of the house that's all used by all of us and someone's 
someone's listening at the stairs and I don't know who it is. I don't know if it's Sebastian or if it's Beatriz. So maybe they will show up. Now I'm taking a little bit of that lighter one and going in with that one. And I'm just doing little sections here and there. And again, I'm not a professional on watercoloring. I just play with my colors and just have fun with it. So I just want to get some interest in here. So that's what that looks like. It's still not dry. So, and then I'm going to go into these sections here and we're almost there with this piece. I mean, from where I showed you the other day to this, I think it's coming along quite nicely. And it's kind of weird because I don't know who's listening to me. ¿Quién está ahí? Ah, you can come up. So it wasn't Sebastián or Beatriz, it was Sofía. They can't see you because I'm filming the... I'm filming my notebook. Yeah, so I thought I'd do something different. That's a little black from, um, black flag. I don't even know what hole that is, because I'm, um, yeah, I'm not a golfer. So I know it was the golf course, and I know there was a hole there, and I know there was one of the flags for the hole, but yeah, I don't really know what hole that was. <laughs> Okay, so let's, I'm sorry if it's shaking and everything, but I'm holding it with my hand, so I'm really sorry if it's not the best quality, and I'll look at it, and if it's not a good quality, I won't share it, but. So we're going to see Tarzan in a couple of hours, because my mom wanted to see it, and it's about to be taken away from the theater here. So the whole family is going to watch that. And I'm sorry I keep hitting my tablet, but I'm holding I'm holding it in my hand and I'm holding the cover. And it's in the background. So every time I move my hand to get my paint underneath the tablet, I hit it. I'm sorry. Hope you guys don't mind it too much. But that's the only way I can get to share this with you. So I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna grab this blue. It's like a dark teal blue. I'm going to drop that and go in here, in this area here. I want to get it darker. So I was wondering who was sitting at the stairs listening to me. And it was Sophia. She doesn't like to be filmed. So I should have known it wasn't the younger kids. They would have totally like jumped into camera or happily interrupt. Should have thought. It could be Sophia. She's always quiet and respectful of my things, and she doesn't like to show up in my videos. So, yeah. So I think I'm gonna <clears throat> get a. Well, maybe I have. No, I don't have any here. I don't have any tissue here. I do, but I have to move you. Okay, I'm gonna. Let me see how I can do this. I can. I'm gonna cover you so that you guys don't get dizzy. I'm gonna move over to get some Kleenex <laughs> that are close to me and then I'll open up the camera again so you guys can see that okay I hope that was okay I can't I don't know how to edit I don't know how to do many of the things that you can do on videos on this new tablet so you guys are gonna have to bear with me I hope I don't get like a ton of thumbs down just because of all the shaking I'm so sorry but I'm trying to do this with all of you now that I have like a little time to play up here and not have people listening to 
what I'm saying? <laughs> it gets kind of weird, you know, because at home I'm I'm used to it, but here we have the whole like my parents are here now. My brother and his family left last night. And they might be coming back up during the weekend. But, um, yeah, for the rest of this week, it's going to be my parents and us up here. So, yeah, I'm not used to having them listen to when I'm filming. Partly because they don't understand my whole YouTube community world and my crafting <laughs> um and hubby not hubby but hobby like all of this art stuff that I do with all of you guys yeah I don't think they quite understand that which is probably why they won't um understand me spending a lot of time looking at those stories if we ever get to them because they're not interested in the type of thing. So, you know how many um, hours we could spend looking at crafty stuff and just enjoying different things and getting inspired by them, even though, if, even if we don't buy them, just getting the chance to look at the stores and look at all the goodies is a fun trip for me. But yeah, not for anyone else because they don't quite enjoy it. Um, Sophia and Beatrice are dying to go. But that is just not strong enough when you have a whole bunch of people that want to do other things. So, so yeah. It's a little bit frustrating because, I, I mean, I know the stores are so close by and yet I can't get to them when I'm finally up here. But, yeah, I'll manage... I'll manage to get um, some artsy stuff done, even if I can't get to the stores. I'll just have to enjoy it this way, you know? Okay. So... It's a question of trying not to get too much water into it so I can get my little leaf details. But I don't know why, for some reason. See? For some reason, it's, um, it's losing a lot of the water. Maybe it's because I'm trying to fight, um, trying to keep the tablet straight and maybe I'm putting pressure on the brush unintentionally. So if you like this type of thing, this type of video. Um, or any of the videos that I've been sharing, would you mind leaving a thumbs up so that I know? Because I know a lot of people are watching, but not leaving any comments. So I don't know if I'm not getting the comments because I am on my tablet and I'm not able to um, look at like my full channel information. Or... If there's anything else that um that is causing like the lack of comments on the videos I do get um and maybe they'll get a enjoyment out of this one but I do get someone that is constantly leaving me a thumbs down no matter what type of video I do that is like there's always one person that every so often comes out and looks at all of my videos and gives it a thumbs down every single one no matter what type of video i'm sharing it's a thumbs down so that is a constant <laughs> so 
I just find it interesting that people take the time to watch videos that they don't enjoy and then take the time to leave a thumbs down, which is something I just don't do, you know. If I don't enjoy something I'm watching, I just change the channel and look, whoops, and look, at, and look at something else. But to take the time to go back to a channel that I don't enjoy watching, just to like look at the video and then leave a thumbs down, it's, I don't know, to me it seems like a waste of their time. Because we do have enough choices on YouTube to watch things that we enjoy. There's no reason to keep watching things that you don't like, you know? So, yeah, just a little... I guess I went into a little rant there, but I mean, it do, does not take away my sleep. I just find it interesting. But I do think that it's, um, that leaving thumbs up is a great way of letting people know that you are enjoying what they're sharing. So even if you can't, um, if you don't have the time to leave a comment, just leaving a thumbs up is a good way of um, letting people know that you're liking the content of their videos. And I know that my videos um, this summer have been kind of like all over because I've been doing different things and now that I'm traveling, it's a different type of video again. But I am just searching for ways that I can keep on active on YouTube and sharing things with all of you because it is so easy to disconnect again when you when you change your like you your routine and it took me a long time to be able to come back and and be active with all of you again so I don't want to lose I don't want to you know I don't want to lose that I enjoy all of my friends here a lot and I enjoy sharing with all of you a lot so I want to make sure that I find a way to stay connected even if it's not like the same type of um, content that I usually share so yeah I thought I'd share this um, video today it's just something a little different from what I usually share just me working on a watercolor little pen um painting here instead of just showing you the finished piece once I get done with it you know so I thought it would be fun to do today and then I'll just leave you with the look of that now Oh, I still need, like, oh, I can't stop until I get this part here done because it bothers me. I don't quite like that part here, so I'm going to get two different greens in this part here. Yeah, it's kind of weird to, <laughs> to do this with a, with a tablet held flat on the side. I hope you guys mm, can see that and enjoy it. I don't know how um, how good this video is going to be for you guys. Oops. See? Because I keep hitting it. So I might not share it. You guys let me know. Okay, and what I'm going to do is, okay, wait for one second. That was my foot. I'm sorry. I'm like sitting on my bed, not with the best light, but I just wanted to get this done. So I'm using the crayon straight up. I'm sorry because I was doing that and I forgot to film it, you know? <laughs> and I'm trying not to hit the... So this part here is a sand pit, this part down here. 
and I'm trying to get some green contrast, but I I don't want to get it too dark. I do have to get it um a little bit darker because the green is the same color. So, you know. So I can't get like all of these like different changes in greens in that area because it would make no sense. But I am working on this from memory because I didn't take a picture of it. I didn't have my camera with me that day, so I'm working on it from memory. Can you guys see that? Okay, so I'm mixing that light green and now I'm going to get the darker green in. Yeah, so when I'm doing this type of thing, I don't I start talking and I don't pay attention to what I'm saying. <laughs> so if I, if I was talking too much, please ignore that part and just take a look at what I'm doing. <laughs> but if you've enjoyed this type of share, do let me know that you like it so that I can make more of them. Um, because I would like to make videos that you guys like to watch you know these videos are not for me they are for all of you so that I can share what I love to do but there's no point in sharing things that people are not interested in watching so I don't want to bore you by sitting here watching me paint and talk especially when I'm not sharing it. <laughs> sorry I get like all involved and I forget that I'm off camera. Yeah, so I have to get that part a little bit darker there. So I'm going to use a darker green and I keep hitting this. I'm going to use a darker green there, but I'm going to add a lighter green to it just to play with the colors and again this is a little sketchbook and I'm just playing with colors so whatever happens is what happens and that's how you discover things that you like things that work things that don't you have to play around with things and just let them happen to see if that is something that you want to do again or if it was a total oops you work with it play with it And I really like the texture of this visual journals. Did I I showed you guys the the one that I'm using before I left. I don't know if you guys wanna watch I mean look at that again. Let me see if I can share. This is the this is the type of journal that I'm using to paint on. And I really I really like doing these pieces with the neo colors on this type of paper it's fun I love the texture it gives the painting the watercolor and yet it's not intimidating because it's a small area 
to work with and um yeah it's just a little sketch so okay so i i don't know how much you guys will be well maybe there you can, you'll be able to appreciate it more if i pull it up here and you don't get all the glare but that is what my painting looks like and I'm going to leave it like that because if not, I'm going to overwork it and I don't want to do that. I want to leave it loosely um, painted and um, not get too detailed on it. I just think that was a fun little experiment there. So hope you liked it. Hugs and kisses, everyone. And um, see you soon. Bye.